American Girl dolls accidentally became memes, and this is that story. I'm Barrett. I'm Carter, and this is Felicity. So my best friend, Carter, and I run the account Felicity Merriman together. We met about five years ago. We had the same job at the time, and one of the very first things that we bonded over was both having American Girl dolls growing up. So we were spending a lot of time getting to know each other and our other coworkers, largely through a series of personality quizzes that we would find online. One of those was the BuzzFeed, which American Girl doll are you quiz? which she and I instantly bonded over because we had both grown up with those dolls and had read those books and were really familiar with the characters. We not only took the quiz ourselves, but it became a bit of like a team building exercise for basically our, our entire staff. We all knew who everyone's American Girl doll was. It was a bit like being sorted into your Harry Potter house. We knew who was a Ravenclaw and we also knew who was Josefina. We actually once went on a business lunch together to the American Girl doll cafe. It became kind of an in-joke throughout the course of our friendship. Then in late 2021, we were living separately in different cities and bonded because we began seeing American Girl doll memes from other creators on Twitter mostly. And we would send them back and forth to each other and laugh together. And I think it was just very organic in terms of coming up with our own ideas for things that would be funny featuring American Girl dolls. In February of this year, after a few glasses of wine, I just kind of decided to take these ideas that we were coming up with and actually make an account. Carter texted me one day and said, I made us our own American Girl meme account. The name is Helicity Merriman, and here's the login details. I want us to do this together. The first memes we ever made for the account were super stream of consciousness, whatever we thought would be funny to see an American Girl doll doing. A lot of the original ones were like fake YouTube thumbnails um, with like real YouTube titles. We had absolutely no intention of this ever taking off in the way it has, but we were dead wrong. And then we started to make the We Need an American Girl Doll Who memes that really blew up. We were not the first account that actually posted We Need an American Girl Doll Who XYZ, but it was sort of a meme format that we had seen once or twice. One day, I just had like a bunch of ideas, posted them on the account, and very quickly the comments started rolling in. People started sharing those on TikTok and in their stories all over the place, and it really exploded from there. Carter and I both have a background working in politics, and we're both very involved in politics. So that was inevitably going to be a big part of what we wanted to communicate through these memes. A lot of our followers will note that one of the first big memes that brought them to the account was our reaction to Roe versus Wade being overturned back in June of 2022. And there's actually a funny story that goes along with that. At the time, I was actually on a mountain with no cell service and, you know, had kind of told Barrett, do whatever you want with the account while I'm offline. She posted a meme about this news. Because we had commented on it in the past, in the lead up to this announcement, that our followers would be looking to us to say something else now that it had been made official. I mocked up something really quickly, shot it over to her and said, this is what I have. I'm gonna post it if you can't respond to me, but I really want your feedback. Later that day was driving down the mountain and started getting pings on my phone. Very serendipitously, she was just coming down off the mountain and she texted me and she was like, oh my God, this is wild, but I love it. Go ahead and post it. It's one of those moments that I will always kind of remember like what I was doing. Where was I when the Taylor Swift, look what you made me do music video dropped. What was I doing when we found out this news that Roe Wade was getting overturned. I was driving down the mountain and I found out about it from a meme on my own meme page and realizing that this meme about this decision was blowing up. 
that got us like 40,000 followers in the span of one day. Over a million people saw the post. It started getting printed out and taken to protests. We saw photos of that sign at protests in the New York Times. It was all very bizarre and surreal. We haven't had any direct contact with the American Girl doll brand. That being said, a lot of their employees have actually reached out to us. Obviously, our content may be not the most child-friendly in the world, but they're very much aware of the account and they love it a lot. Since we started this account in 2022, a midterm election year, and because some of the political content we were making did so well, Carter and I felt like it made sense for us to use this account to do something that we care about a lot, which is getting young people to the polls. Talking about it in a way that feels like we're talking to our peers and we're not reading off some stuffy messaging that I think really just doesn't work. One of my favorite things about the account is that it really has felt like a growing community. People send us a ton of things, tons of stories, lots of pictures. Honestly, at this point, we would have expected everybody to have unfollowed the account, but we're still growing a little bit every day.